Word about the sale has definitely spread. A lineup is gathered outside. The crowd is anxious to get in and start shopping. And Kari is ready to wheel and deal. Small, two for a dollar. Large, a dollar. Crocheted runners, three dollars. Tablecloth, simple, five dollars. Embroidered, ornate, eight dollars. People are just picking, doing their things. I'm just gonna kind of let it ride. Good, come on in. Have you been inside the house yet already? Yes, okay. yeah. Tractor back there too. Real good shape. So it's this dresser right here, the one you want? Yep. Perfect. $100, it is yours, my dear. You wanna see if we can get it running for you? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Come on, baby. I didn't even have to touch it. You sure you don't want to make an offer? No, I don't want to. You're gonna pass? Yeah. He's been here since we opened. He was eyeballing the Pinto. I bet you he'll be back, because he really wanted to make an offer, but he's a little unsure, so we'll wait it out. We've only been open about an hour and a half, so we'll just, he'll be back. And if he's not, somebody else will come and make an offer. I'm not sure if you recognize that artist at all. How about 30? 30. $30? How about 25? You know what, if, you, if you're gonna take the rest of the stuff, if you wanna do it for 25, yeah. I'll do it for 25. Yeah, so okay. Just ever put 25, put 25 on it. On it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna pull it up. This year, if you get $250 for this thing. I know it needs I, love. I'm, it love, it needs more than love. How about the lamp, this piece, and those two for 225? I was gonna negotiate 220. Let me think about it, you keep shopping. It's been a good start to the sale. Many shoppers have come early and are snapping up furniture, china, and linens. Kari and her team have got the Pinto up and running. It's in great condition. All she's gotta do now is sell it. Runs and drives, make condition, rust free. Okay, what is she asking for? Uh, 3,000 or best. I think he's somewhat Flexible on the price too. You know. Yeah. You don't want to make an offer? I'll think about it. All right. We, about it. it must sell. You want to make an offer? I'm gonna think about it. Okay. It's gotta sell. Oh, here she is. And you're still shopping. Listen, I I think I'll go for the 220 for you. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'll do it for 220. They don't make things like they used to. There's a lot of character. They just throw things together. Back then, they didn't. It was built to last. This box was mine. Will you do 30 for all of it? Well, I did 25 on that box. So 25, 35. It's our first day. I'm giving you a great deal on the wedding dress. 35. Did you have anything else? That's it? That's it. This whole house, just a baseball bat? <laughs> hey, at least you bought something. How you doing, ma'am? Come on in. We could go for a ride, Vince. I, no, you drive. Hop over. The air conditioning is on. I got to drive a little bit. You guys taking it for a joy ride? Go Pinto, go. Yeah. Don't fail us now. Ooh. Very comfy. Nice little ride. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh. oh, you're kidding me. So much for our joy ride. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we interest you in a Pinto? It is for sale. No, no I don't need a Pinto. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get it working very shortly. Oh, it don't run. Well, it does run. Just from there to here it did. Yeah, there. You yes. sure you didn't run out of gas? Yeah, we're, we're checking on that. <laughs> okay. Oh, come so. on. Finally.
It's the end of day one. Despite the cold weather out in the country, lots of people came to see the treasures in the farmhouse as well as the Pinto. It was a profitable day with around $1,700 in sales. And there are still two more days to go. It's the last day and many customers have returned to see if they can get a deal. Kari needs to sell either the Pinto or the tractor. Both would be a bonus. Going yeah, to that van right there. It's not that heavy. Yeah, Thank no, you. Got it? Excellent. No offers yet on the Pinto, but the tractor is getting some attention. It's a chill. Some of them, uh, it's in the, in the shifter too. You lift up on the shifter or whatever. So we're trying to get that tractor started, and if it starts, we can get 1500 If it doesn't start, he offered 1000 so we're gonna do our best to get it started. Try to get it running and then not give yeah. me a call back. Hey, Kari, how much are these? I love them. Green chairs, they are cool, I love the color. I'm looking for a set of these. How about 10 bucks a piece? Oh, perfect. Oh my God, I love That's them. your number? Okay, yeah, they're yours. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so excited. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excellent. The sale of the tractor was good news for the estate sale, but no matter how hard Kari tried, she just couldn't move the Pinto. It's a good thing there's a customer interested in everything else inside the garage. You know, you go uh, for everything. I'm saying 500 bucks. He, he, I was telling you about the cabinets I like there. He yeah. can clean them out and everything. You mm -hmm. know. I, I just, man, 500 bucks, I think, is pretty good, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. 500? Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot, Rob. Five. Thanks a lot, man. Kari's team made a big dent in a sale that was packed to the rafters. They managed to move hundreds of pieces off the property, but many items remain. One treasure that surprisingly didn't sell was the Blue Willow China. It's often a popular item, but this time, there were no takers. And I think the family really, really wanted that because they were surprised when we unearthed it, so it's kind of ironic it's still here. It must be meant for them. Kari and the crew did better than expected at the sale. They rallied at the end to sell over $6,000.